Hey everybody, uh, my name is Patrick Schwartfeger, got a big long last name. I'm the author of Webify Your Business, Internet Marketing Secrets for the Self-Employed. Uh, I'm going to spend just a few minutes here today talking about how to leverage Facebook for business. Facebook has 200 million users. 200 million users. Here's the deal. Driving traffic to your website is difficult and it's expensive and it takes time. Okay, it can be done. That's I did a lot of that uh, in the early days. Uh, but driving traffic to a website is difficult. Uh, it's a lot easier and cheaper and more effective and more cost efficient uh, to reach out and touch these people on a platform where they're already spending time, like Facebook. It's 200 million people on Facebook. So reach out and create a brand property on Facebook. Uh, and, and touch them there first. Build some trust, provide some, provide some value, demonstrate your expertise, and then give a link to go back to your website. Uh, and you, maybe you won't get as much traffic to your website initially, but the people who come have already gone through that filter, that brand property filter, and they already know that they like you and they trust you. So the quality of visitors that gets to your websites, you know, your blog, which is where you engage them on a higher level, maybe sell something, uh, the quality of traffic is much higher because you've touched them here first. Okay. Now, uh, Facebook has three facilities that you can uh, take advantage of. First is a profile, and most people, you probably have a profile yourself on Facebook. You can also have a group or a page. So uh, the three are profile, group, and page, right? Uh, and here's the deal. Profile is designed for individuals, as we know, right? Sharing photos and videos and information with friends and family. Groups are multiple people who have similar interests. Okay. And pages are specifically designed for businesses. So if you have a business and a lot of people are maybe a little bit cautious, they don't know if they want to uh, commingle their uh, profile, their personal life and their business life, keep your profile separate and then create a page for your business. Okay. And P Facebook's putting a lot of resources into making pages really robust. So there's an opportunity, very powerful uh, Facebook pages. Um, and there's a couple of specifics, but let me let me actually just talk about one specific strategy. There's more details in here, okay? But uh, the biggest thing that I think you should do on a Facebook group or page is to have host events, if you can, uh, of one form or another. Uh, now, obviously, that needs to be local uh, for the most for most of us because uh, we have local oriented businesses. But let, let's assume you have like a winery and you did a public wine tasting, okay? And you did it on Facebook. And people show up to this thing, and you say, uh, and by the way, it's viral. You don't want to be making, trying to make a ton of money on events you post on Facebook. You want them to be fun and engaging. Because if you RSVP to my event, your entire network is notified that you did that. So I just augmented my exposure by engaging you. Does that make sense? So I want as many people to engage in my event as possible. I want my event to be fun and people to be like, yeah, I want to be a part of that. Uh, and when they say, yes, I'm going to attend, it augments my exposure. It goes viral, right? People find out about it from, from you, not me, uh, because you RSVP'd. That's what viral is. They, they, they heard about it from someone other than the person who's doing the event, okay? Um, but once they arrive, have like an area set up with a big sign, you know, that has maybe the sign of your winery or whatever. Give them a glass of wine. This is just an example. Uh, so it looks like they're having a good time. Thank you for coming. Let me take your picture. Right, pictures, photos. It's a huge viral opportunity with photos. Um, are you on Facebook? Are you on Facebook? Most people are. Uh, if so, we'll tag you on the photo. Oh, you are perfect. Just fill out this form, and we'll be sure to tag you on our Facebook group or our Facebook page. Now, what's going to happen if I take a picture of you and I post it to my Facebook group and I tag you in it? The photo is going to be on my group because I uploaded it, but it's also going to be in your profile. It's going to be in your profile as photos uploaded by others. That's powerful, right? People are going to see that photo. They're going to see this photo of you having a great time with a glass of wine, right? And people will be like, oh, what, what were you doing? Oh, that's neat. When, when did that take place? And guess what? They just found out about my winery from you because I posted the photo, okay? Posting photos on Facebook is an incredibly powerful viral opportunity. 
Uh, so find a way to get photos and you know if you meet someone who's who's uh, famous or whatever or you have people together any opportunity you can take a picture and t upload it to Facebook and tag those people uh, you do a workshop or a seminar people who attend your seminar take a photo anything that you're doing if you're a massage therapist and you have people who come in take photos and tag them uh, it, right in front of your massage table right so people know that you were there to have a massage uh, powerful stuff there's more details in here and you can get this for free okay just go to the website and on the right hand side uh, you can put your name and email address and we will uh, email you one chapter every week for a year uh, so you'll get it for free it'll take you a while uh, obviously you can buy the hard copy as well if you're watching this video on YouTube um, there's a subscribe button around here somewhere um, please subscribe to the channel because uh, I do these videos all the time and if you're a subscriber then you're gonna get notified of future videos and finally if you are watching this on uh, YouTube right below the video there's a place for comments and I love those comments and they're fun to read not only for me but for other people who visit my channel so please take a few moments and write some comments good bad or indifferent uh, thank you for your time and we'll see you next time bye now